Northwest Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. Access to me means I get to explore and define myself. Access that allows me to follow my passion. For me, it means I get to do what I've always dreamed of doing, helping people. Access to me means I'm the first one in my family to come to college. Sé el primero. W.C. Timber has been serving the Northwest Georgia and Northeast Alabama area since 1991. As a complete tree and timber service, W.C. Timber can handle thinning and clear cutting, tree chipping, stump removal, and storm damage, as well as bucket truck and crane services. For more information, visit them on the web at wctimber.com or give them a call at area code 706-238 one two one four WC Timber and Tree Service Introducing the new onward high performance lithium ion personal transportation vehicle from Club Car. When it comes to style, power, and performance, look no further. The onward HP lithium ion exceeds expectations with impressive hill climbing performance and high power acceleration. No other vehicle in the industry can compete. Our automotive quality, self-contained battery is protected by a corrosion resistant and watertight steel case. This state-of-the-art battery is maintenance free. And with an industry leading six year battery warranty, you can rest easy knowing your onward HP lithium ion is ready when you are. Welcome to the next era of club car innovation. Crestview Angus, your source for premium locally raised beef delivering the finest quality from farm to table. Contact them on Facebook to place your order today. At Northwest Georgia Media, we're all about capturing the moments that matter to you. From sports to arts, from concerts to business events, we're equipped to share what's happening in your world, live and in high definition. We leverage cutting-edge technology and a knowledgeable crew to see that your most unforgettable events remain just that, unforgettable. You've got the graphics at a high level, ESPN style, scoreboard angles, instant replay, anything you would expect to see on a, a regular broadcast, we're getting in a high school ball game. They're set up, you wouldn't even know that they're even in the building. You just trust that they're getting the job done. Northwest Georgia Media, where the world is your audience.
Access to me means I get to explore and define myself. Access that allows me to follow my passion. For me, it means I get to do what I've always dreamed of doing, helping people. Access to me means I'm the first one in my family to come to college. Sé el primero. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Woodard Gymnasium for another night of model high school basketball. My name is Jeff Gable, and we're here with the entire Northwest Georgia media team. And we are so glad you're with us here for a rather important Region 7 AA game tonight between the visiting Fannin County Lady Rebels and Rebels and your model Lady Blue Devils and Devils. Uh, the model girls come in uh, to a very good start this year. They are 5-0 and on the year. And in the latest uh, state rankings uh, last week, and again, you can take state rankings for you know whatever they're worth early in the year, because a lot of teams haven't played many games. Uh, but people around the state have thought highly of Model and their good start, and they are ranked number seven in the state. Fannin County is currently not ranked, but I have a feeling before too long they will be. This is a very good program uh, under Coach Ryan Chastain, and they have. Uh, put together some really good teams in recent years. In fact, they were a 2021 state runner-up just a couple of years ago. Uh, and they've still got some kids here on this team that were part of that team. Uh, and they also have one of the better players that you'll see uh, here in Northwest Georgia, Courtney Davis. She's the back-to-back -back Region 7 AA Player of the Year. Uh, and she's committed to play next year in college at Young Harris uh, up in North Georgia. So um, they are a very good program. I spoke with Coach Chastain a little bit on the court and he said they started a little later than they have some years. Uh, they've only had uh, three games to this point. Uh, they are two and one in those games. Uh, but he said they pushed back their start a little bit later than usual, maybe a week or two. Uh, so they don't have quite as many games under their belt as some of these teams who have played five, six, seven games so far here by early December. Uh, but they are still a really good program and uh, nice to talk to Coach Chastain and talk about the importance. He said all these games in Region 7 to AA are important, uh, but the game against Model is uh, a really big one because he knows how good uh, Model has gotten off to such a great start. Uh, and this was a, a good game last year. I believe Model, in fact, beat Fanning County, I think, in the region tournament uh, where Model eventually got the number two seed uh, and Fanning County was bumped down to the three seed, I believe. So uh, this is a, a good early season test for the Lady Blue Devils. Uh, we were here Friday night when they beat Temple, uh, and of course, Coach Sally Rush, or, or Sally Eccles, excuse me, when she was a player, she was Sally Rush, uh, but Coach Sally Eccles said after the game that they still have a long way to go, especially offensively in terms of their execution and their consistency. She really wants them to be more consistent, and we saw that Friday night against Temple. We saw them get off to a really good start in the first part of the first quarter, and then they had some lulls offensively in the second and third quarter before they turned it up a little bit late in the game uh, in the fourth quarter to kind of pull away from Temple. So uh, we'll see if there's a little bit more consistency. Uh, all four quarters is what Coach Eccles said uh, last Friday that she wanted to see. So I'm sure they've worked on that the last few days. Uh, well, we're about a minute and 45 seconds before we come back here. So uh, let's take a one minute break. And then when we come back, we'll have the national anthem, our starting lineups, and get you some basketball action. It's Fannin County against Model here at Woodard Gymnasium. We'll be right back. You're watching Model High School Basketball. You look exhausted. Dude, my to-do list got the best of me. I finally sharpened the blade, trimmed the yard, raked the leaves, and then I mowed. Yeah, me too. Get out. You're not even breaking a sweat. I know. My grasshopper trimmed around the yard, power back the leaves, and then mowed. I did all of it without leaving my seat. I gotta get a grasshopper. Finish fall cleanup and be ready for winter with a grasshopper mower. Here we go again. Access to me means I'm the first one in my family to come to college. Say el primero.
Back here at Woodard Gymnasium, Jeff Gable with you courtside as we get ready for the Fan and Lady Rebels and the model Lady Blue Devils here shortly. Uh, again, a big region, 7AA game uh, here in Rome. And uh, this is a good early season test for both teams, but I think especially for model, knowing the tradition and history Fanning County has, uh, they've kind of been the benchmark for this region the last few years. Model's off to a good start. Let's see if they can continue that and stay perfect on the year. We're about to have a, looks like a children's youth group here do the uh, national anthem. So we will pause and listen to that. And then we'll have your starting lineups. some high fives now to some of the coaches and players of from model as they head off the court uh, and we will look at the starters now for these two teams for uh, Fannin County we will have uh, Courtney Davis the senior she's the one that's the two-time region player of the year she's one that model definitely has to focus on also number four Emma Buchanan and the starting lineup number 21 Maggie Ledford number 22 Reese Lewis and number 32, Macy Hawkins. And now for your model, Lady Blue Devils. Led by one of the point guards on the team, Riley Sims, number 11. Also number 14, Rachel Burkhalter, one of my favorite players. She hustles, good basketball IQ. She knows the game, love watching Rachel play. August Betts, of course. Eva Pointer, very good post player. She had a big role in the game Friday against Temple. And Javia Samples, number 24, one of the quickest players you'll see on the court as well. Was really impressed with Samples' quickness. Got some steals, forced some turnovers, got down the floor in a hurry on the fast break. So she is one that Fannin County is gonna have to keep an eye on tonight. And we are just about ready for some basketball action here from Woodard Gymnasium. I'm old enough to remember the games back in the old M Dome and that was a historical place to watch games and uh, a really cool environment. But this, I call it the new building. They've had it for probably 15 years or so, maybe 10. This is one of the nicest facilities you'll see to watch basketball. And we are underway as Model wins the tip and they will head right to left. And the shot is missed by Model. Fight for the rebound under the basket, and it goes off a Fanning County player. And so it will be Model basketball. Burkhalter will trigger it into Betts. Now to Sims. We're going to feed Rachel in the corner, working around the perimeter. Fanning in a man to man defense. They feed it into Pointer. She takes a shot off the glass. Missed, no good, but August Betts hustles and grabs the rebound. 
Bounce pass in the lane, it was stolen away. She was losing her balance, but that ball get, gets tipped away. And Model gets it right back. Samples, her shot partially blocked. Loose ball on the floor, Betts has it. Now feeds it to Sims. Thought about a three, instead she drives. Tried to feed it to Betts and it got away from her. And Emma Buchanan comes away for Fannin County. And she will walk it up the court for the Lady Rebs. She gets a high screen, drives the lane. Puts it up, no good, loose ball on the floor. And Fanning comes up with it. They feed it back to Davis. She drives, has it tipped away, and Briley Sims comes away with it for Model. Nice defense, creates a transition opportunity. Tr Sims came to a jump stop, pump faked, and Emma Buchanan fouled her from behind. So Buchanan picks up her first foul, and Model will inbound the ball. Again, Burkhalter is going to trigger it in. To Javia Samples. Dribble handoff to Pointer. Now to Betts. Betts is going to pull up for a jump shot. Off the front of the rim, no good, but she gets her own rebound. Gives it to Burkhalter. Rachel wants to drive. Now kicks it back out to Sims. And her three-point attempt is no good, and it will go to Fanning County. The Lady Blue Devils have had a bite at the apple a couple of times, but just couldn't quite convert. And so we're still scoreless. Showing a little bit of pressure. Fanning County brings it up the floor. They go underneath. And left-handed layup is good by number 22, Reese Lewis. Now Model back with it. Sims is going to look to Betts. High post. She drives. Bounce pass to Pointer. Her shot partially blocked. But Betts gets the rebound and puts it back in. So Betts gets the first basket for Model. And now again, Model showing some pressure against Fanning County, but Davis breaks the pressure. And now they're going to try to feed it in the post. They do. Kick it out to Buchanan. She fires a three. Back of the rim, no good. Samples collects the rebound. And Model wants to run. They feed it down the floor to Pointer. Lost the handle a little bit, but saved it to Betts. And they're going to say August maybe pulled up her pivot foot and traveled with it. So it will be Fannin County basketball. They trigger it into Ledford, now to Buchanan. And eventually they get it to Courtney Davis. That's what they want to do is feed their offense through her. There's a drive by Ledford now to Davis. She puts up a three and hits it. She has a good looking shot right there. And it's 5-2 Fanning County with the lead. Pointer baseline jumper answers right back. So Pointer gets her first bucket of the game. And back the other way, almost lost it at half court, but Fanning County keeps it alive. Buchanan bounce pass in the post. Play a little two-man game. They feed it back to her along the baseline, and she hits a three. So Emma Buchanan hits a three. Betts underneath, she's gonna drive, double team, makes a nice move and gets it in there. And August Betts makes it an 8-6 game. Back the other way, Rachel Burkhalter with it as Model gets the steal and Briley Sims keeps it alive at half court. Briley looks, sets the offense, she picked up her dribble so she's gotta get rid of it, gives it to Betts. And they're gonna say she was fouled behind from behind by Reese Lewis. So Julia Schinholster comes in and Eva Pointer steps out. Burke Halter looks, wants to trigger it in from the baseline and finds Sims. They try to get it to Betts and it's tipped out of bounds by Lewis. Rachel bounce pass into August Betts. And she's going to dribble now. Looks to drive. Nice spin move. Good answer by Fanning County, but a better shot by Betts. Wow, August Betts with a great move. Left-handed. And she makes it an 8-8 eight eight game. Here comes Fanning County driving the other way. They beat the pressure. The first shot is missed, but then Lewis fights for the rebound with Samples. 
Yeah, they both tumble to the floor and they're gonna say jump ball possession error will favor Fanning County. So they will inbound the ball as Ledford has it. Now to Davis. Gives it off to Buchanan. She fires up a three. Back of the rim, no good. Loose ball, fought for. And they're gonna say, I think, yeah, they stepped out of bounds. Reese Lewis is trying to save the ball and tip it into her teammate, but her foot was on the end line. And so it'll be model basketball, but there's a timeout on the floor. We will keep it right here. It's just a 30 second timeout. Your score is eight to eight. Great start for model by August Betts. She's got three field goals here in the opening four plus minutes of the game. And that's one thing that Model didn't have a lot of against Temple on Friday night was a lot of consistent post play. But in the paint tonight, they've done a pretty good job. Looking at the stats that uh, Sally Eckles provided me for the game. August Betts is averaging six and a half points a game so far this year, so she's already at her average. As Model inbounds, it breaks the pressure. They feed it up to Rachel Burkhalter. She's gonna get it to Betts, now to Shinholster, and she's gonna set the offense. Gives it to Burkhalter on the right wing. Looks inside, nothing there. Gets a high screen from Betts. Bounce pass to Sims, and she drives. They're gonna say she double dribbled. I think when she initially caught it, she had both hands on the ball. And then when she took off to dribble, that's the double dribble violation. So Fanning County inbounds it. Model shows some full court pressure, but Meg Ledford gets it up court. Now gives it to Reese Lewis, and she got fouled. I believe that's on Sims. Let's see. Yeah, Briley Sims picks up her first foul. So that's going to put Reese Lewis at the line for the first time tonight with 3.17 to go here in the first quarter. Her first free throw, back of the rim, no good. She'll get one more. Reese Lewis averaging six points and eight rebounds a game. So she is a force on the glass. Second free throw rims out, no good. But Fanning County keeps it alive, but Rachel Burkhalter gets the steal. Good defense there by Rachel, and here comes Model. Rachel directs traffic, gives it to Shinholster. She gives it out to Samples. Samples makes a quick move to the right. Feeds Burkhalter for the three-pointer on the right wing. Back of the rim, no good. Loose ball on the floor, and Fanning County comes up with it. That's Ledford. Ledford feeds it to Buchanan. Now she bounces underneath to Lewis, and her shot is good, and she got fouled. Good quick turnaround by Reese Lewis. And so she will go to the line with a 10-8 lead. Coming in for model is number 25, Jada Wells. I was really impressed with her in the post two the other night against Temple. Free throw is no good. Loose ball is collected by model. And so Fannin has a 10-8 lead. Samples has it over to Burkhalter. They look inside, nothing there. Back to Samples. Now they give it into Sims, who got fouled. She got bumped by Avi Ethington, who just came in for Fanning County a moment ago. Samples has it now at the top of the circle. Looks to drive, wants to drive. She does drive. Her shot goes off the rim, no good, and rebound pulled away by Callie Inslee for Fanning County. Now there's an offensive foul on a screen there. Yeah, they called a illegal screen on Reese Lewis and I believe that's gonna be her second foul. So yeah, it looks like Reese is gonna come out and replacing her is number 44, Emma Holloway. Model facing some full court pressure here. Samples picks it up, gets it across half court, feeds it underneath. And they're going to say, here's a 30-second timeout. Coach Sally Eccles saw Samples in trouble on the inbounds pass. She was getting double teamed. And she was do, calling the timeout to do her a favor and kind of get her out of trouble. 
But Samples is so quick, she just put the dribble down, shot right past both those defenders, and actually was starting to lead the model break, but Sally had already called for the timeout, so they granted it to the model. Just a 30-second timeout. And she's now kind of instructing her team on what to look for now with this full-court pressure that Fannin County has suddenly employed. Fannin kind of laid back in a half-court defense and not pressure model very much, but they did on that possession. 10-8, to eight, the Lady Rebels lead the Lady Blue Devils here. 2.07 to go first quarter, and Sims is going to trigger it in for model. She gets it to Shinholster. She crosses half court, now feeds it to Samples. They look in the post, but they're double teaming the post hard. Shinholster back to Samples, now back to Julia. Back to Samples, they go inside, and there's a tie-up loose ball situation, and the arrow is going to go to Model, I believe. Yep, still Model ball. Jada Wells tried to get the inbounds pass, but one of the fan in players tied her up. So it's a jump ball situation, and the alternating arrow Gives it to Model as Shinholster looks to trigger it in. She gets it to Samples. Samples back to Shinholster. They're trying to get it in the block, but Fannin doing a good job of post defense. They get it to Samples. She drives. Shot off the glass. No good. Loose ball. Grabbed by Burkhalter. And the shot clock runs out. And that one did not hit the rim, I believe. So it'll go to Fannin County. Shot clock violation as Eva Pointer checks back in for Model. Replacing Sims. So Courtney Davis will trigger it in for the Lady Rebels with 1.39 to go here in the first quarter. And they're going to say, wow, kind of an unforced error, I guess, to use a tennis term. Davis just kind of stepped forward when she was passing the ball in. Her foot hit the end line, so that's a turnover. So Model gets the ball right back on a gift. Shin holster, bounce pass, and then Davis steals it right back. It's the mark of a good player. can make up for a mistake immediately. Davis dribbles, feeds it underneath. The shot in the post by Holloway is no good. Rebounded by Wells, and here comes Model wants to run. Shin Holster to Burke Halter. Now Samples back to Shin Holster. Little bounce pass to Samples. Thought about driving. Nothing there. Skip pass to Burke Halter. She fires up a three. In and out, no good. Loose ball rebound is collected. They give it back to Rachel, and she just had it stripped out. That was a bad angle. And Inslee comes away with it for Fannin, but right back comes Model, and Burkhalter, left-handed layup won't go. However, Wells grabbed the rebound and got fouled on the way back up. Fannin turned the ball over with a sloppy pass. Shinholster got it to Rachel, who was open under the block, but that left-handed layup just rimmed out. Wells, though, on top of the situation, grabbed the rebound and got fouled, so she'll shoot two here. 58 seconds left in the quarter, and she hits the first one. Wells hits the first free throw, so the second one coming up here. Back of the rim, no good. Loose ball will go to Fanning County. So it's 10-9, Fanning with a one-point lead. Davis gets it in. Loose ball on the floor is grabbed by Pointer. She gets it to Samples. Wants to drive, does her little shot. Bunny shot doesn't go, but Wells grabs the rebound. Her shot won't go. Loose ball goes off of a Fanning County defender, and so it will be still model basketball with a little over 44 seconds to go. Schenholter triggers it in, and Wells makes a nice cut to the basket and lays it up. Jada Wells, nice alert play by Schenholster to hit her with that. Pass and it's 11 10. Model reclaims the lead as Davis walks it up for Fannin County. They go in the corner. Now up top, almost lost it and they did lose it as Samples comes away with the basketball. She wants to drive. She does. Her shot is no good, but Pointer gets the rebound. She got fouled going up and so Eva will go to the line. Good offensive rebound by Eva Pointer and she drew the foul. Hensley picks up her first foul. And Eva's free throw no good. She'll get one more. Second shot coming up. Puts it up. Just rimmed out. No good. Rebound by Fannin. 
Still 11 to 10 model. And there is a foul, I believe on Shen Holster. Kind of a body block on Issy Jabale. Julia picks up her first foul. And so Fanny will inbound it with 12.8 seconds left. They get it to Davis, almost stolen by Javia Samples. She is so quick. And she cut right in that passing lane and tipped it out of bounds. So it'll still be fan and ball. A.V. Etherington will trigger it in, looks. And they're going to say a foul on Shinholster, I believe, as Courtney Davis was trying to cut to the ball. Going to say Julia grabbed her a little bit. So again, A.B. Ethington will inbound the ball, this time right on the baseline. And now there's 11.5 seconds left in the quarter. She looks, gets it to Davis. She wants to drive, she does. And her off-balance layup shot is no good. Model gets the rebound, coming down the floor. Pointer puts up a three, no good. Some teams would have just dribbled that out, but uh, Milan Howard alertly got it to Pointer, who fired up a three, missed it, but at least they got one more shot, and that'll do it for the first quarter. So Model has an 11 to 10 lead after the first eight minutes of action. We will take a one minute timeout and come right back you're watching Model High School Basketball here on Northwest Georgia Media. Here at Winter Gymnasium, Jeff Gable with you as we start the second quarter of action. Model with an 11 to 10 lead, but Fannin County gets a shot to fall right here to start the second quarter. Reese Lewis lays it up, and so they reclaim the lead at 12 10. Now, here on the left side of the court, Model on the offense. And Samples puts up a three and nails it. Javia Samples hits a three pointer. And she puts Model right back in front, 14 to 12. That's her first three-pointer of the game, or first bucket of the game, actually. And Davis in some trouble, but gets out of it. Fannin County now in the half court. Pointer blocks a shot. Fannin County gets it right back. They take a bad shot. The shot clock wasn't running down, but nice block by Eva Pointer on the defensive end. Here comes Briley Sims with it. She drives, kicks it out to Samples. She puts up another three, back of the rim, no good, loose ball is tipped away by Pointer, and her layup is good. Eva Pointer playing very well tonight. And it is 16 to 12. Fannin County breaks the pressure. They feed it down to the post, and she got fouled. I believe it was Sims who fouled her maybe, or Betts, one or the other. And I think Sims got the foul. That was Reese Lewis who drew the foul. And so she will have two shots here. First free throw is off the rim, no good. She is 0 for 5 from the line tonight. Double check my stats there. She's normally a pretty good free throw shooter. She misses that one. So it is still 16 to 12. Burke Alter gives it up to Samples as Model sets up in the offensive zone now. Fannin looks like they're in a little bit more of a matchup zone here now than the man to man. They're kind of in a matchup 2 3 zone. Burke Alter in the corner feeds it up to Sims. Sims looks in the post, nothing there. Gets it to Burke Alter, came all the way across the floor along the baseline, feeds it into Betts. First layup is good. 
August Betts is a fun player to watch. And she gives Modlin six point lead, 18-12. Back the other way, the running layup is no good. And Lewis went up, grabbed the rebound, all in one motion, put up a shot off the glass, but it missed and she'll go to the line. She got fouled. Fouls on samples, I believe, yeah. That's Javia's first foul. And she'll, she will go to the line to shoot free throws again. She's 0 for 6 tonight. This free throw, back of the rim, no good. She is struggling. Now it's a mental thing. As she shoots her seventh free throw of the night, still trying to find the first one to go through, and that one does. So she hits one of two, and she makes it 13 to 18. Now they're showing some full court pressure here against the model as Briley Sims has it, gives it to Samples. Now they find Pointer underneath. Oh, now they're going to say she pulled, picked up her pivot foot as she tried to pass it underneath the Burke halter. It went out of bounds anyway. It would have been a turnover, but they're going to say she traveled. So Fanning gets the ball back and again facing some model full court pressure. And the Lady Rebels get it across the timeline. Ledford gets it to Davis. Davis looks inside. And again, Reese Lewis will go to the line. She's made a living there so far in this game. As she got fouled by Sims as she tried to turn and lay it up. So the last three offensive possessions for Fannin County have wound up with Lewis at the line. Shinholster checks in for Sims. Sims has two fouls now on her. Lewis's free throw is no good, rebounded by Betts. And they're gonna say she got fouled there by Emma Buchanan. So Lewis only one for nine from the free throw line tonight. And Model inbounds it with 5.36 to go, facing some full court pressure. They get it to Pointer. She's going to drive, almost lost the handle, and she finds Shinholster. She's in the corner. She's going to get trapped, and she does. And she tried to bounce it off a Fannin County player, but the Lady Rebels stole it. Courtney Davis comes out with it. She's going to drive the lane, tries to bounce pass underneath, finds Lewis for a layup. Nice pass. And Lewis hits a layup. And it's 18-15, models lead down to three. Fannin County's turned the defensive pressure up a little here. As the model in their half court set, they find Pointer in the high post, now to Shinholster, back to Samples. Rachel Burkhalter here, now from the left wing, takes a three pointer, no good, that one bounces out of bounds, it will be Fannin County basketball with 4.50 to go. Macy Hawkins checks back in for the Lady Rebels, replacing Reese Lewis. Your model lineup is Shinholster, Samples, Pointer, Betts, and Burkhalter. Lady Rebels get it across the timeline. Meg Ledford now to Ethington, back to Ledford. She drives a running jumper off the mark, no good. Loose ball is rebounded by Fanning County. Three-pointer from the right corner, good by A.B. Ethington. And back the other way, they get a steal. So they tied the game and then stole the ball from Model on that offensive possession. So the Lady Rebels now with a chance to take the lead again. They feed it in the post. Turnaround jumper off the glass, no good. Loose ball is touched by Burkhalter. I think she saw it went off a fan and player, but couldn't stop. She'd already touched the ball as it was heading out of bounds. And Jada Wells checks back in for the Lady Blue Devils, replacing Eva Pointer. Fanning County gets it into Ledford. She fires the three. Off the back of the rim, no good. Shinholster comes up with a rebound. And now she quickly dribbles it up the floor, gets it to Samples, who kept it alive for Betts. Somehow they kept that possession. Shinholster now with it, back to Samples. Fires it underneath to Betts. Turn around, nice move in the post. She got a little contact, but there was no call. And the ball will go right back to 
Fannin County as it went off of Betts. Inbounded to Courtney Davis. Now to Ethington, and she gets it across the timeline. Loose ball tipped away, and Schinholster comes out with it for model. Julie wants to drive coast to coast. Tried to go up, and they're going to say she drew a foul. Davis charged with the foul there. She was right on Schinholster's hip all the way down the floor. And that's the second foul, I believe, on Davis, so that will put Schinholster at the line. And her first one rims out no good. She'll get one more. Second free throw is up and good. So Schinholster gets her first point of the night. And it's 19-18. Model has a one-point lead here, three and a half to go before halftime. Ledford gets it across half court. And right on the sideline, they're going to call Julia Schinholster for a foul. She was trying to steal the ball and just bumped Ledford enough to pick up the foul. That's her second personal foul. Fourth team foul as Davis has it for the Lady Rebels. She flips it over to Ledford on the right wing. Thought about driving, didn't do it. Now they feed it in the post, and they're going to say, I believe Wells fouled her in the post. You know, Wells had just a little too much body contact on Macy Hawkins. And so Wells picks up her first foul, and I believe that'll be the fifth team foul, so I believe it's a shooting foul situation. We'll see. Everybody's a little confused there, so Schinholster actually stays in. She'll sub out in a moment. She has to do it after the free throw. That's what it was, so... Macy Hawkins at the line. First free throw, rims out, no good. Now Schinholster comes out and Addie Mathis checks in. Second free throw, bounces around everything and finally goes in. And so it is tied 19-19. Model facing some full court pressure. They get it to Betts. And now across the timeline, Mathis has it. Now to Betts. Kept the defender on her hip. Good play. She drives the basket. Missed the layup. Little contact. Again, no foul. Davis fires underneath to Ledford, and her layup is good. Maggie Ledford gets it in, and it's 21-19. And Fannin County comes up with a steal. They lead Davis on a break. Was the pass too strong? Nope, she comes up with it. Shoots a baseline shot, no good. Rebounded by Fannin County, but Model comes up with it. Jada Wills got the ball, and when she was waiting for guard to come open, she got fouled by Ledford there. Maggie Ledford just reached in there and picks up her second foul. 21-19, Fannin County has a lead, and now Davis gets a steal and layup. And so now it's 23-19, and this full court pressure by Fannin County is causing some problems for Model as Wells finally gets it to Betts. Betts got bumped, and they're going to say it went off of Betts, so it'll go back to the Lady Rebels. It's gotten a little bit more physical here in the second quarter, and Fannin County is taking advantage of that. They've created several missed shots and turnovers, and they've gone from trailing by four to now they're up by four. Maggie Ledford with the ball, gets it to Hawkins. Hawkins wants to drive, now kicks it out. Now to Ethington, she fires up a three. Off the mark, no good, loose ball, fought for. And they're going to say, I believe that Wells got called for the foul. And Issy Jabale And Jabale will go to the line. She'll get two free throws here. That foul was on Wells, so that's her second. She missed the first free throw. She'll get one more.
That's one place Fanning County has struggled tonight is from the free throw line. Jebele gets a second shot. And it's no good as well. And Eva Pointer gets the rebound for Model. Model saves the ball, but then Fanning County alertly picks it up when Rachel's pass was a little off, off the mark. Ledford tries to drive. Pointer grabs the rebound. And Pointer, she had two teammates over there, Addie and Rachel, and she threw it between the two of them. Just a little miscommunication. And so Fanning County will have the ball here with 120 to go. But Coach Sally Eccles wants to take a quick timeout and talk to her team a little bit and kind of settle them down. Fanning County has turned up the defensive pressure a little bit. They were content to drop back in kind of a half-court defensive set for most of the first quarter. But here in the second quarter, they have turned up the heat a little bit, and that pressure has created some turnovers and some transition baskets. And like I said, the Lady Rebels have gone from, they trailed by four early in the second quarter. And now they're up four with 1.20 to go before halftime. The Rebels and Blue Devils boys teams will play at the conclusion of this one. Those two teams had a really entertaining football game this past fall. Up in Blue Ridge, Model hung on to win that one 28-27, one of the most entertaining games the Blue Devils played this year. So Ethington triggers it in for the Lady Rebels. Chabalet with it, Model in a man-to-man -man defense. Now over to Ledford, wants to drive, dribbles behind her back, goes in the lane. Her shot is no good, but she drew a foul, I think, on Pointer. Didn't look like too much contact, but I guess just enough. And so that will put Maggie Ledford at the line. This is her first trip, and she misses the first free throw. Score is still 23-19. Ledford's second free throw is no good, and Pointer grabs the rebound. Mathis gets it to Samples. Now back to Mathis. They tried to go underneath. The ball's loose. Pointer comes up with it. Her shot is no good. And Holloway, excuse me, Hawkins has it for Fanning County. And now they want to run the break. Ethanson takes a three from the corner. Off the mark, no good. Mathis had the rebound, but it was tipped away. And Model does come away with it now. Addie Mathis. Gets it across half court, gives it to Samples, and they're going to set up their half court offense here. Final 32 seconds of the half. They feed it under, underneath to Howard. Now to Mathis, she pulls up for a jump shot. Off the mark, no good. Fanning County trying to get it across half court to get one more possession here, but Model showing a lot of pressure. Davis tries to shake Samples, drives in the lane, gives it up to Jabale. Now there's a drive and a score by Maggie Ledford. Three seconds left, two seconds, one second, and they can't, Model can't get off a shot. And so Fanning County rebounds in that second half from trailing early in that second quarter, excuse me, to taking a six point lead here as we head to the break. Model offensively just kind of went cold those last couple of minutes. And the Fannin County Lady Rebels lead the model Lady Blue Devils 25 to 19 as we head to halftime. As we hear the amazing music of Bon Jovi, living on a prayer are playing. Hopefully this game won't come down to that. Hopefully model can rebound a little bit and figure out an answer to this pressure defense by Fannin County and get back into this game. Tell you what, let's take uh, about a four minute break and when we come back, we'll recap the leading scores from that first half and tell you a little bit more about the boys game coming up shortly. Your score is Fanning County 25, Model 19. Back in four minutes, you're watching Model High School Basketball here on Northwest Georgia Media. West Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, 
Georgia Highlands College. Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialists. W.C. Timber. Dogwood Books. Shannon Pharmacy. And Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. Access to me means I get to explore and define myself. Access that allows me to follow my passion. For me, it means I get to do what I've always dreamed of doing, helping people. Access to me means I'm the first one in my family to come to college. Sé el primero. Introducing the new Onward High Performance Lithium Ion Personal Transportation Vehicle from Club Car. When it comes to style, power, and performance, look no further. The Onward HP Lithium Ion exceeds expectations with impressive hill climbing performance and high power acceleration. No other vehicle in the industry can compete. Our automotive quality, self-contained battery is protected by a corrosion resistant and watertight steel case. This state-of-the-art battery is maintenance free. And with an industry leading six year battery warranty, you can rest easy knowing your onward HP lithium ion is ready when you are. Welcome to the next era of club car innovation. W.C. Timber has been serving the Northwest Georgia and Northeast Alabama area since 1991. As a complete tree and timber service, W.C. Timber can handle thinning and clear cutting, tree chipping, stump removal, and storm damage, as well as bucket truck and crane services. For more information, visit them on the web at wctimber.com or give them a call at area code 706-238 one two one four WC Timber and Tree Service At Northwest Georgia Media we're all about capturing the moments that matter to you from sports to arts from concerts to business events we're equipped to share what's happening in your world live and in high definition we leverage cutting-edge technology and a knowledgeable crew to see that your most unforgettable events remain just that unforgettable You've got the graphics at a high level, ESPN style, scoreboard angles, instant replay, anything you would expect to see on a, a regular broadcast, we're getting in a high school ball game. They're set up, you wouldn't even know that they're even in the building. You just trust that they're getting the job done. Northwest Georgia Media, where the world is your audience.
back here at Woodard Gymnasium. Jeff Gable with you and the Northwest Georgia media team. As we get ready for the second half between Fanning County and Model. Took a minute, I had to go down and double check our stats here. Foul situations and things like that from the scorebook. As Model opens up on offense, Pointer gets it to Samples. Now to Sims, her shot is good. She banked in a three. I don't think she meant to do that. But she gets Model closer at 25-22. Fanning County the other direction. Three-point attempt, no good. Loose ball tipped away, Model has it. Lady Devils want to run. Burkhalter drives the lane. Pointer tried to get the rebound and put up a shot. It was partially blocked. And back the other way comes Ledford for Fanning County and Maggie Ledford gets a layup. And on the drive there, August Betts, they call her for traveling, so it'll be a turnover. Fanning County will now walk it up. Courtney Davis, who's been held to just five points, but the rest of the Fanning County team has picked up the slack. She drives, and there's a charge as Briley Sims stepped in the lane and took a charge there. And that's going to be Courtney Davis's third foul, I believe. Two-time Region Player of the Year, and I think she's got three fouls. The scoreboard hadn't changed yet, but she should have three on her. August Betts feeds it two-pointer. Now to Sims. Samples gives it to Burkhalter. Sims drives, puts up a shot. Off balance, no good. Rebound grabbed by Reese Lewis. She gets it to Buchanan and now to Courtney Davis. Here's a drive by Ledford. Her little left-handed shot left it short and August Betts rebounds it and gets it to Rachel Burkhalter. Fanning County with a five point lead and August Betts has it stripped from behind. Ledford caught her napping and she drives and hits the layup. Maggie Ledford having a good game. She's got eight. It's 29-22, and Model breaks the pressure. August Betts, bounce pass underneath to Pointer, who lays it up. And it is 29-24 now. Model down five. You don't want to get down too much to this Fanning County team. Ledford drives in the lane. Kicks it out. Thought there might have been a foot shuffle there, but no call. Back to Ledford. She picks up her dribble, fires it across to Buchanan. She drives, bounce pass in the lane, stolen by August Betts. She just reached her left hand in there and snagged that pass away. Burke halter to Sims. Sims directs traffic, now gives it to Samples. Now Rachel feeds it into Pointer, her short Jump shot is no good, rebounded by Emma Buchanan. Long lead pass to Ledford. She drives and August Betts tips it out of bounds. Buchanan's gonna inbound it for Fannin County. Bounce pass underneath, taken away by Sims. Model's got several steals here this quarter. They've turned up the defensive aggression a little bit. Rachel Burkhalter, left wing, skip pass over to Samples. She pulls up for a jump shot, no good, but she got fouled, I believe. And they're gonna whistle, I believe, Emma Buchanan for the foul. And that will put Samples at the line for two free throws. First free throw is good. She'll get one more. 30, Abby Ethington comes in for Fanning County. And Milan Howard comes in for Model. And Samples hits both free throws. And makes it 29-26. 
Three-point lead for Fanning County. Model trying to chip away at this Lady Rebel lead. Hawkins has it now to Ethingson. Now to Ledford. They try to find uh, Reese Mathis in the, or excuse me, Reese Lewis in the post. She was there, but the ball was tipped out of bounds by Model. So the Lady Rebels will inbound it under their own basket. Ethington puts it up, and it is a loose ball, and Howard has it. Saved it right at half court. There's two model defenders there. They just couldn't quite steal it. Bounce pass in the lane. It's stolen away by Pointer. Good quickness by Eva. She's going to drive and lay it up good. Eva Pointer with a layup. And it is now a one-point game, 29-28, as it's a steal and a layup by model. And Sally Eccles talks to her team. I think that timeout was actually called by Ryan Chastain for Fanning County. He saw the momentum shifting a little bit. Had an interesting conversation there right at halftime with uh, Jeff Honeycutt, the model football head coach. If you follow model football, uh, you know what a good season they had. They finished the year 6-3 and three in the regular season, won a state playoff game on the road against Therrell down in Midtown Atlanta, and then lost to uh, eventual state quarterfinalist Callaway in the second round of the playoffs. So they finished 7-4, and four, had a really good year. He said the uh, all-region teams, all seven AA teams, will be announced uh, this week. So hopefully there'll be some good representation because there was a lot of outstanding individual performances by some of those model football players this year. And we want to make sure they get their due. They had a really good year for the Blue Devils. Davis drives for Fanning County. Her layup off the mark, no good. Rebound by Samples. And they're going to say a jump ball tie-up situation. I think Macy Hawkins had a hand in there just enough to create the alternating possession situation, so Fanning County will inbound it. They feed it to Ledford. She shoots a long three off the back of the rim. No good. Briley Sims gets the rebound, and she's going to bring it up the floor. Cross half court, gives it up to Samples. She pulls up for a jump shot. No good. Loose ball on the floor, still on the floor. Samples has a hand on it. So does one of the Fanning County players, who actually has it under her back. And the alternating possession arrow then now fa favors Model, so they will inbound it. Reese Lewis pretty much wound up with the ball under her lower back. So the tie-up situation gives it up to Model. Rachel Borkhalter triggers it into Howard. Now over to Javia Samples. Looks in the post, nothing there, so she's going to drive. She puts up a shot. No good. I think it was partially blocked by Reese Lewis. And now Davis comes out of the pack with it for the Lady Rebels. It's a one-point game. Fanning County leads 29-28 as we've played half of the third quarter. Ledford thought about a three instead. She drives, gives it off to Lewis. Her shot is no good. Model gets the rebound, and Briley Sims brings it up the floor. Rachel Burkhalter left wing. Now back to Sims. And they work it around the perimeter looking for something in the post. Nothing is there. Fannin County plays really good post defense. They get it to Sims in the lane. Her shot off the glass is good. And so she gives Model the lead, 30 to 29. Now Davis with it for Fanning County. Kicks it out to Maggie Ledford. Her shot is no good, in and out, rebounded by Samples. Model has a one point lead and the basketball as we're at the two and a half minute mark of the third quarter. Burke Halter in the corner. Now to Samples. She fires a three, in and out, no good. That would have been a huge one as it is. Fanning County gets the rebound. Davis on the run. She lays it up left handed, good. Courtney Davis is a really talented player, and she did that left-handed. I don't think she's a natural lefty, but she got it to go. Loose ball on the floor taken away by Fanning County. Here comes Davis again on the run. Again a left-handed layup. This time she misses it, but there's a foul. I believe Samples got her, and they both went kind of crashing to the ground there. I think they're both okay. But I believe Davis will get two free throws out of this. She has yet to go to the line, actually, tonight. The rest of the team has struggled from the free throw stripe tonight. We'll see how Courtney Davis does. Her first one is good. That is her eighth point of the night. 
She averages 16 points and four rebounds a game. So the model's done a good job of keeping her in check, but Maggie Ledford's had a big game for Fanning County tonight. As Davis hits the second one, so she converts both and makes it a three-point game, 33 to 30. Pointer with the ball, gets it to Burkhalter. Now Shinholster directing traffic at the point. Burkhalter finds Shinholster. She looks, gives it to Howard. Howard feeds it under to Pointer. Back to Burkhalter. I don't think Pointer was expecting that pass. Here comes Samples. Jump shot in the lane, no good. Loose ball collected by Shinholster. New shot clock for Model. They feed it over to Samples, now underneath to Pointer. Her baseline shot won't go. Loose ball is grabbed by Fanning County. Now they want to run. Here comes to Blaney. Now she gives it to Davis. Her three-point shot won't go. Model rebounds it. Pointer again. She's been aggressive on the glass tonight. And Model has the ball back in the offensive set. And Samples, somebody reached in there and grabbed her. I believe that was Emma Holloway. Right when Samples started to move and make her drive, Holloway grabbed in for the ball and wound up with her arm. So that is Holloway's first foul. Actually, second foul, I believe. Samples has the ball for Model. Now to Shinholster. Now they skip pass it to Rachel Burkhalter. Shot clock down to 15. They get it to Howard. In the lane, her turnaround jumper is no good. And Davis comes out with it for Fanning County. Pointer right on her hip, and a nice drive by Courtney Davis. Navigated through traffic and got the layup to go. And it is 35-30, back to a five-point lead for Fanning County. Here's a drive by Samples, kicks it out to Shinholter. Three-pointer is good, Julia Shinholster. Her first field goal of the game. And she makes it 35-33 as Davis and Fannin County want to play for the last shot. Clock's down to 10. Here's a drive by Jablaney. Gives it to Holloway who traveled with it. And so Mata will get one more crack at it with 4.8 seconds to go in the quarter. See if Model has a play to get it down quick and get off one more shot attempt before we head to the third quarter break. They give it in to Samples. Clock's at three, two, one. Samples pulls up for three and doesn't get it. And that's the end of the third quarter that saw Fanning County hold on to this lead, but Model is fighting them the whole way. It's a two point game, 35-33. Lady Blue Devils trail by a bucket. We will take a one minute break and come right back. You're watching Model High School Basketball here on Northwest Georgia Media. Northwest Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. Back here at Water Gymnasium as Fannin County will inbound the ball to start this fourth quarter. They have a two point lead, 35-33. But Model is making them work for it. Issy Jabale for Fannin County has the ball. Feeds it over on the right wing to Callie Inslee. Takes a three pointer, no good. Model comes away with the rebound. Shinholster gets it across half court. Now to Burkhalter. Rachel's been quiet tonight. She has not scored yet. They feed it underneath the pointer who does score and she gets a layup. She's got 10 points now in the game and it is tied at 35. Model giving Fannin County all they can handle here. Davis gives it up to Ensley who drives, kicks it out to the left wing. Shot by Ethington is no good. Ethington, excuse me, she missed it. Model has it, and Samples called for 
moving that pivot foot again. And so it's a turnover on the travel. And so Fannin will get the ball right back. Avi Ethington inbounds it to Jabale, who's only a freshman, but getting some key minutes here in the game. Courtney Davis with it. Now covered by Samples. Shot clock at 18. She drives all the way around the perimeter. Nothing there, picks up the dribble. Inslee has it, they go in the post, loose ball on the ground and August Betts comes up with it. It's a five on four break for Model if they can take advantage of the numbers. But Lewis gets back for Fanning County. Betts kicks it to Schinholster. She fires a three, it's good. Julia Schinholster, another three pointer. And it is 38-35. Model leads by three. Fanning County. Works it around, Ethanson takes a shot from the perimeter, no good. That one's gonna kick all the way out of bounds by the Lady Rebels bench. And Model will get the ball back. Again, we wanna say thank you to all of our great sponsors who help us put this game on. We appreciate Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson Plastic Surgery. As Schenholter takes another three and it's good. Julia Schinholster has caught fire. And she goes model a six point lead all of a sudden. Schinholster has shot model back into this game here in the fourth quarter. Ball in the lane loose and Schinholster comes up with it. Gives it to Pointer, now back to Schinholster. Model now in control of the game and they feed it into August Betts who got fouled from behind. More of our great sponsors this year, WC Timber, Dogwood Book, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. We appreciate all of them. They are a big part of this broadcast. There's, there's a timeout on the floor as Ryan Chastain from Fannin County wants to talk it over. He's seen his, he has seen his team go from a lead as we started the fourth quarter to trailing model by six. There's 5.31 to go in this game. Let's take a one minute break. We'll be right back. You're watching Model Basketball here on Northwest Georgia Media. Climbed back into this one. They were trailing going into the fourth quarter. Now they have a six point lead, thanks in large part to Julia Schinholster, who's hit back to back threes here to turn a tie game into a six point model lead. And the Lady Devils inbound it here. August Betts gives it to Burkhalter. Her shot no good. That one is off the mark and off of one of the model players, I guess, out of bounds. And so it'll be Fannin County basketball. Davis brings it up, covered tightly by J.B. Samples. Now Ethingson back to Davis. She fires a three off the mark, no good. And it is a ball on the floor, and they're going to say a foul. No, she stepped on the sideline, I guess. Yeah, they're going to say Issy Jabale on the rebound, or when she tried to collect the loose ball way out here on the corner, stepped on the end line and kind of stumbled. And so that's a turnover. Model gets the ball back with five minutes to go in the game. Samples drives, turns the corner, gives it to Pointer. She gets it back to Samples. Now to Shin Holster. As she drives, and she puts up a left-handed shot, no good. Rebounded by Fanning County. Macy Hawkins collects the loose ball, gets it to Davis. Model could not add onto the lead during that possession. Davis gets a high screen, pulls up for three, partially blocked. They didn't see who got a hand on it. 
but somebody partially altered the flight of that ball. Samples comes up with it, gives it to Pointer. Pointer feeds it to Burkhalter, back to Samples. Now to Schenholster. Picks up her dribble and finds JB Samples. August Betts now in the high post at the free throw line, gives it to Samples. She drives, gets knocked to the floor, and they're just going to say it was blocked. The ball was blocked out of bounds by Fanning County, but no foul call. Ledford checks back in. Maggie Ledford does for Fanning County. She's going to replace Jabalay. And with 4-10 left in the game, Shin Holster will inbound it. Nobody free. Now she gets it to Burkhalter. Burkhalter into Poyer. Turns around. Off the glass. Good. Eva Pointer lays it up. She's had another good game. And with four minutes to go, Model is up 43-35. Ledford with the ball gets away from her defender but picks up her dribble. Now in the post, she loses it, and Rachel Burkhalter comes up with it. Her post, her post pass to Lewis was a bad pass. And Model came up with it. Schenholster there almost lost control, but smartly threw it off Maggie Ledford's foot. So it stays Model basketball with 3.38 to go. Samples with the ball. She gets a high screen, and they're going to say, let's see who the foul's on. It's on number 30. Avi Ethington. And so, yeah, she just kind of bumped August Betts, and August almost fell over. It's a second foul on Ethington. They get it into Pointer. Her shot off the glass is good. Eva Pointer having a really good game. And it is a 10 point lead, 45 35. The model offense has really pulled away here. And the defense has turned up, made life really difficult on Fanning County on this end as well. Ledford looks over to Coach Ryan Chastain for a play call. Samples almost steals it. Now Ledford drives. Her shot is off the mark. No good. August Betts gets the rebound. She came flying in there, collected the rebound. Burkhalter gets it to Schinholster. Now back to Betts. She wants to drive. Left-handed layup is good. August Betts gets a bucket. And with 2.50 to go, Model has pulled away. It's 47-35, a 12-point game. We didn't see this coming a few minutes ago. Layout by Davis is no good, and Schenholster comes out of the pack with the loose basketball. Nice spin move at half court. Gives it up to Burkhalter, back to Schenholster. She feels it, fires a three, missed it, and rebounded by Courtney Davis. Long one-handed baseball pass to Ledford. Her layup is good. Ledford on the run out there. And that's their first basket with 2.20 to go of this fourth quarter. Hard to believe they went that long without a basket. Model played really good defense this entire quarter. Pointers pass out of bounds. Rachel Burkhalter was there on the perimeter, but then she cut to the basket and Pointer had already let the ball go. So that's a turnover. And so Fannin County Brings it up, Davis, and they're going to say an offensive foul on the screen there. An illegal screen by Reese Lewis. Should be her third foul, I believe. And so with 1.58 to go, Model has a 10-point lead and the basketball. August Betts gets it to Burkhalter. She drives, her shot no good. Tipped away in the lane, and Hawkins comes up with it for the Lady Rebels. That ball is blocked by Samples. Abby Ethington thought she had a layup and Samples came flying out of nowhere and blocked it out of bounds. It'll still be Fanning County ball. Inbounds to Davis. Her three-pointer off the mark. No good. Loose ball in the lane. And they're going to say, I heard whistles, but I didn't see. I think it's model ball. Yeah, they're going to say that Reese Lewis, when she got the rebound, her foot was out of bounds or something. So that's a turnover, and it'll go to Model. They get it out to Samples across half court quickly. They thought about trapping her, but she got free, takes a jump shot, and it's good. Samples, nice move down the floor. J.B. Samples pulled up. Nobody was there. She hit a jumper, and Fanning County calls another timeout. They can't stop this Model team now. 
as the Lady Devils have run out to a big 12 point lead. It's 49 to 37. Remember at halftime, Fannin County had a lead, 25-19. And even after three quarters, Fannin County still led 35 to 33. But the model defense stifled them and they did not give up a basket for the first five and a half minutes of this fourth quarter. Meanwhile, they had scored 14 points. And built a, a 12 point lead. It's now a, it got down to 10, then it's back to 12 at 49 37. And Ryan Chastain for Fannin County has called several timeouts this half to try to slow down this model momentum. They just couldn't do it. The Lady Devils can hold on for about 90 more seconds. They'll have a big win in the region here and be on top of everything in 7AA. And they'll still be perfect on the year. Davis drives, kicks it out to Ledford. Free throw line extended. Picked up her dribble, bounce pass over to Buchanan. Now back to Davis. She drives, her shot no good, but she got fouled. I believe August Betts might have got her on the arm as she put up that one-handed running jumper. And so Davis will go to the line with 1.13 to go. Yeah, August Betts picked up the foul, so that is her second. First free throw is good, so she'll get one more. Second one is good as well. And so it's back to a 10-point game, 49-39. Model does have to be careful here. Don't turn the ball over and give Fannin County any cheap possessions here. They inbound it to Betts in some trouble, and they tried to bounce it off the leg, didn't work, and now they're going to call Schinholster, I believe, for a foul against Maggie Ledford. Going to be Julia's third foul, and Fannin County will inbound it. Ethington gets it to Ledford. Now back to Davis. Samples almost stole that. Davis turns the corner drive. Loose ball tipped away by August Betts, and JV Samples comes out with it. And she gets it to Julia. Now to August. Crosses half court. Now back to Samples. Clocks at 52 seconds. And Davis, hard foul there on Samples. Looked worse than it was. It's just two hard competitors going after each other. Samples has done a really good job defensively. She's been with Courtney Davis all night, about two inches from her the entire game. Shinholster inbounds it to Betts. Now back to Julia. Got a high scream but didn't take it. Goes the other direction, gives it to Burkhalter. Rachel fires a three, no good. Rebounded by Hawkins. Almost stolen by Pointer, and it is as Betts got the ball. Eva Pointer tipped it away from behind. August Betts came up with the ball, and now she gets it to Rachel Burkhalter, and that's just about all she wrote as we're down to the final 30 seconds. Model is up by 11, and Ethington with the foul against Shinholster. And Shinholster will go to the line. She's one for two tonight. And that one is good. Makes it 50 to 38. And second one is good. And it is 51 to 38. Fannin County the other direction. Davis gets the basket. But that may be a little too late. As Ethington picks up the foul, and that's going to put Julia Schinholster right back at the line where she just hit two. This one is good as well. She's four out of five tonight from the free throw line. She's got one more coming. And that one is good as well. So it's 53 to 40. 
Here's a shot in the lane. Davis again, but that's going to be Fanning County's last gasp as Pointer has the ball. They're just going to run the clock out with a big win. 53-42 is your score. And Model has a big win here against the Fanning County Lady Rebels. Looking very quickly at the scoring, Eva Pointer led Model with 14 points. She had a great night. August Betts had 10. Julia Schinholster also a good night, especially in the second half. She had three three-pointers and had 14 points as well. For Fannin County, your leading scorer is Courtney Davis. Only had five at halftime. Wound up with 16 in the game. Maggie Ledford had 10, and Reese Lewis had nine. But Model did a really good job defensively that second half. Turned up the pressure and pulled away from a two-point deficit heading into the fourth quarter to a 13 point, uh, excuse me, 11 point win. 53 42. And so that will be it for the girls' game. This model stays perfect. They are now still 6 and 0 on the region and on the season. And they are now 1 and 0 in the region. And uh, Fanning County drops to 2 and 2. Fanning County will be a tough out later this year. Again, they have not played that many games this season. And Courtney Davis is a heck of a player and model's got to go up to blue ridge here in a few weeks in january and face them again but uh, model drew first blood in this rivalry tonight and again they win 53 42 to improve to 6 and 0 on the year so congratulations to coach sally eccles and the lady devils and uh, we will be back here on friday night as they take on the murray county lady indians chance to stay perfect in region 7 AA. Well, the boys teams are heading on the floor now as the Fannin County Rebels will take on your model Blue Devils here in just a few minutes. And uh, this should be a good one as well. Model played Temple on Friday, won the game, but uh, Jacob Travis still saw some things he wanted to, uh, hopefully he said work on the next few days of practice. We'll see how that has turned out as they're back on the floor tonight in Region 7 AA action. We will take a break for a few minutes and we'll come back with about... Uh, Two minutes, let's say, left on the clock here during the warm-up. And when we get down to two minutes, we'll come back, give you the starting lineup and all the information about the boys' game. But congratulations again to the model Lady Blue Devils as they pick up a big win. The model boys' game coming up in a few minutes. You're watching Model High School Basketball here on Northwest Georgia Media. Northwest Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. 